Hello everybody, we are in the section 3 and the ETABS and SAFE course. Now in this section we will determine the section of the Waffle Slab Type 2 and the Story 2. The difference between Story 1 and Story 2 um, between Waffle Slab Type 2 and Type 1 is the, the type as we told before the Waffle Slab Type 1 the spacing between the ribs is between 1 meter and, t and 2 meter but and this waffle slab type 2 the spacing between ribs is between 0 and 1 meter we take the spacing between the ribs equal to 80 centimeter and the two direction x and y we return to the presentation uh, the waffle slab type 1 the the this uh, type of slab is two way slab we use waffle slab when we have long span and high life load spacing between ribs below one meter loads as as we have said before the dead load equal to 3.5 kN per meter square uh, this load is always for waffle slab and the modeling and etaps uh, for life load equal 5 kN per meter square because this plan this story is a parking story the table uh, differ uh, for type 1 uh, we have uh, as the t uh, the table of ty uh, waffle slab type 1 but this uh, this number here change and differ so the hs slab uh, we choose this panel because this panel as the story one uh, get us the maximum sp uh, get us the maximum thickness so the H of slab equals 710 plus 548 times 0 0.5 over 2 over 24. Why over 24? Because it is an exterior panel without drop. So the H of slab equal to 27 centimeter. We need to use hidden beam. So H of slab equal H of beams. How we calculate H of beams? The same table for beams use it in story one. We use it. H of beam equal the one, the one same beams, the one, the maximum, this beams, the one and continuous beam as the story one give us the maximum thickness. So uh, the H of beam equals 695 over 18.5 equals 38 centimeter. Compared with H of slab, we choose H of slab equal H of beam equal 38 centimeter. S1 and S2 equal 0 0.8 meter because type 2. TF is the topping equal the topping of the, this. Uh, of the slab the waffle slab as the, the story one type one equal eight centimeter always and this is a constant uh, constant parameter like the like the ribs the width of ribs equal to uh, eight uh, twenty centimeter the section of the anterior beams we choose it as the as and story one b uh, 100 by the width ones with width uh, 100 centimeter by 38 centimeter the section of the exterior beam uh, here and story 2 we have exterior beam and story 1 we don't have exterior beam because it is a basement so we have a retaining wall but in story 1 we have exterior beam which we want to put a, a drop beams uh, uh, around the the plan so we choose to use drop beam the thickness of drop beams uh, we, we take it two times h of slab so uh, h of slab equals 38 centimeter two times 38 equal 75 centimeter the width we take the width and uh, of uh, of the of this these beams equal 25 centimeter so uh, which uh, the, the anterior beam is with section b 100 by 380 centimeter and the exterior beam are drop beams with section equal to 25 by 75 centimeter. Uh, this section are a, a pre-dimension section. We are we are, we modeling it into the etaps and then we check them uh, uh, if are sufficient sufficient or not. Thank you for listening. We will continue in the next section.